Yes, I have slept in the same bed as Malf. In fact, at, at one of the uh, deck jans, we had eight men to a single hotel room. And I slept in a bed with Josh and one of our mutual friends. It was a queen-size bed. All three of us fit in the bed. And then the other queen-size bed had three more people in it. And then two people slept on the floor. Except after the first night, one of them was like, that was uncomfortable, so he slept in the damn bathtub. But, I mean, we were staying in that Super 8 in Chinatown in Toronto for like 10 bucks each a night. This is a pretty sick deal, all things considered. Okay, here we go. Will we win this one? We're going up against somebody, I'll just let you know. They got a, uh, a 452 ELO. I think my ELO has been normalized a little bit. Okay, we're in Southeast Asia. Let's reinforce some good habits. It's been about a week since I played the uh, GeoGuessr. No, I didn't kiss my homies goodnight, okay? You guys are weird. Three dudes can sleep in the same bed without having to kiss. I mean, like, you're so close, you're already doing other stuff anyway. The kissing would just be awkward. Are we in Southeast Asia? I don't know. The sun is uh, diffused amongst clouds. This to me, and I, I realize now I can't glance at chat. I can't farm plus twos in chat anymore. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit torn on this one because I feel like this could be Africa or South America as well. Anyway, at any second, uh, as we continue down this uh, thoroughfare here, we should encounter maybe like a, the slightest piece of information that would really help us. See, this makes me nervous because I'm playing against somebody whose ELO is lower, which means that they, and I'm just hypothesizing, they might be relying on luck a little bit more than I am. And this is a guess that's heavily luck driven right now. Okay, see this looks very uh, South American to me. But I'm not sold. Okay, and I'm scared. I'm gonna go South America. I'm gonna put us um, near Lima, Peru. Okay, <laughs> we'll take that. <laughs> Actually went pretty well. They went with Papua New Guinea for some reason. That was a tough one. I wanted to be like in the Andes, but not in the parts of the Andes where the tops of the mountains are covered in snow. Now that might uh, be ignorant. Maybe a lot of it is covered in snow, but it did work for us there. So we are in uh, a Spanish speaking part of the world. That's all I know. Really, I need to put in a few more man hours in, in South America, Central America to figure this out. You know what? Look at the car. Are we in Guatemala? We are not in Guatemala. This to me um, looks more like northern. Actually, that, that's a Bolivian road sign. Is this correct? Yes. Yapacani is 80 kilometers away. Um, that's tough for me. But I would say that probably means we're in a remote-ish area. So you know what? Put me there. Put me in the middle of the, of the basin. Might want to do South America only run. Uh, I could, but I want to have fun is the other thing. Good guess. Good guess. Thanks, random road sign. Being good at things, I mean, I try to... Okay, so, by the way, we're in a South America only run. I try to uh, teach my child, you know, she's still very young, but I try to teach my child that, you know, it's very virtuous to try to get good at things, but we all know, because we've, you know, been through the ringer of the real world a little bit, that being good at things only gets you rewarded with harder tasks. So the real thing is just to get good results. Like, that's the fulfilling stuff. To get good results but not have to get good at something is... Uh, is the true best possible outcome. Uh, this seems like an... No, it's not an important sign at all. Never mind. 
You think any of these businesses uh, ever regret painting the Facebook logo on the side of their business? I guess they could just paint over it. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, I'm going to guess that that's Santiago Chile. Let's just take a guess at it. Nice shave. Thank you. I mean, it's mostly um, my, uh, my Remington beard trimmer. Look at that. That was a, a, an insane victory, dude. Hello, Sinvicta. Hello. I don't recommend um, a lot of products necessarily. The one, one of the few products I recommend, I have a Remington uh, beard trimmer that my wife got me. And it has, it solves a problem that you might not think is a problem, but is actually a problem if you're hairy. When you shave... The hair gets everywhere in the sink. Then you got to use the water to send the hair down the sink. You're inevitably you're going to miss some space. You're going to get some on the floor. Some of it's going to end up on like the basin or the sink instead of actually down the drain. Um, and also, if it goes down the sink, it clogs the sink, right? So it has right next to the the trimmer, it has a um, a little catch, so the hair gets sliced. And then it immediately falls into like a plastic catch basin connected to the beard trimmer. Then you just pop it off and shake it out in the garbage can. This is not an, an Amazon affiliate link. It's not a gimmick. It's actually, it, it probably saves me five minutes every time that I shave. That's not like a, a ton of money, but it's also not like a $5,000 product, you know? Or a ton of time, I should say, but it's not a $5,000 uh product it's nice or you can put paper towels in the sink instead okay sure yeah or you could just eat the hair as long as we're talking about things that are like worse solutions but i guess technically more convenient you could also just get the thing the suction cups that uh, give you like a barber's cloak that goes from the mirror right to your face and then you could just shake the okay sure or you could get the Remington beard trimmer that also is a beard trimmer so that you don't have to buy the another beard trimmer and the suction cup barber's cloak okay big whoop just never never buy anything except subs <clears throat> hold on okay Choose outcome, believers won. Hail corporate. He's talking about something that he likes, hail corporate. How much did Remington pay you for this? Bro, they don't need to pay me. You know how many contracts they probably have with the uh, American government? Okay, this person has an ELO that is uh, 150 points over mine. Be afraid. This feels like Australia to me. This does not feel like Australia to me. This feels like... It, it's it's France, but not France. It's We got white license plate on the front and the back. We are in Jersey? Jersey? But the roads are too big. But maybe this is like downtown Jersey. Or is this... Hold on, this sign could tell me. Maybe we are just in France. Does not tell me. What do I see here? It could be Switzerland. No, this looks very French. So I, I, I like France French. I, I think we're in France. Um, okay, I'm, I'm just willing to send it. I'm honestly, put me just outside of Paris, man. It's just France French. Look at that. Right next to the airport, the Paris Charles de Gaulle. I've heard of it. Wow, wow, wee wow. Okay, we are somewhere. Are we in Guatemala? No. Are we in Senegal? Hard to tell. The sky, is, it has a little rift in it, but not enough to be uh, indicative of Senegal, in my opinion. We are in Southeast Asia, in all likelihood. Okay, this is, um, this is Laos. I think this is Laos.
That's my guess. No, it's Sri Lanka. Dude, I gotta learn the difference between uh, Laotian and what they speak in Sri Lanka. Okay, good. That was a really good guess. That was a really good guess. You got me. That was a really good guess. This is Tunisia. Do I see uh, black license plates? No. Yes. I don't actually, but... Mm, that's not Tunisia. This is uh, UAE, maybe? Tunisia it has more French. Wait, no, that's not true. I'm thinking of Libya. Hmm. This could be Jordan as well. No, wait, maybe... T no, Tunisia's a little French, right? Chicken and chicken. Man, they got everything here! Doesn't have everything the body needs. Yotan? It's an indie game. I didn't know it was made here. I always thought it had a little bit more of like a Nordic charm to it. Maybe we are in Norway? This one is throwing me a bit, man. Because Tunisia... Wait a minute. I should know this flag, probably. That is the flag of the United Arab Emirates. That is not the flag of Tunisia. Put me, like, right here. Nope. Okay, never mind. That's the flag of Jordan. Dude! Okay, that's pretty far away. I'm about to get my ass kicked. Never mind. They... Oh, no, no. I definitely got my ass kicked. Okay. Honest question. Flag of UAE versus flag of uh, Jordan. Are they not just like one of them is like rect it has a rectangular base and the other one has a triangular base? Jordan's is... Jordan's is triangle or Jordan's is... Jordan's is triangle. Okay, UAE is rectangle. Fair enough, fair enough. Rice or noodles? You don't even have to ask. I'm, I'm a rice man 100%. As long as we're talking about like Asian style noodles, because like pasta, I actually, this is a great segue. Okay, this person is also 100 ELO points above me, just so you know. Um, last night, I, I made some tortellini in tomato sauce for myself and uh, for my wife and for the baby. The baby loves pasta, right? Obviously, we're in probably Ireland, somewhere in the United Kingdom. Um, so I said to the baby, do you want some pasta? And she said, yeah. So I put the baby plate with the, the cut up tortellini and the tomato sauce uh, in front of her. And then she immediately shoved her hands in the plate and started digging. And she was going, she, it broke my heart. She went, pasta, pasta, where are you? Pasta. And she was going like, da, 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 da. she was like digging through uh, all the tortellini and the sauce. And it dawned on me that she's only really had like rotini in her entire life. So she didn't realize that that pasta is like a, a macro category for this kind of stuff. She thought pasta was just the 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 corkscrew noodle. This is Irish as hell, man. Honestly, I'm going to let it ride where where God placed me. This is why heuristics are dangerous. So true, so true. Daniel Kahneman in the chat, so true. Anyway, she, she, it took her a while, like she was very upset. And then she was like, let's go. Uh, then she ate some and she was like, oh, this tastes amazing. This is also uh, Europe, obviously. We're on a bike, that's how you know. Um, this feels like, uh, I'm gonna say, I don't know yet. Um, I'm, I'll just be honest with you. That was a EU flag. I'm thinking it's, it's in the Balkans, but I'm also thinking that it might be like downtown Tallinn, Estonia. Does that say Zagreb on it? Zagrebo? Zagrebu? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna guess that this is a grab. I'll just let you know, if this person's AFK, I'm not paying out the believers. We're doing a refund. 
Hello. Hello. Holy cow, Tom DeLong. Okay. Well, I guess like if you live in like um Val Varazdin, you just pretend to be Zagreb like just to feel something, but sure. Okay. This we do we do not pay out the believers. We we refund the bets and we return the points. They're real. Dude, what's going on with that UFO stuff? You know I am I'm not a conspiracy theorist at all. And I find that um conspiracy theories um it you know, broadly speaking, my opinion of them is that they don't actually serve the purpose of furthering public understanding of how things actually went down, but rather give um, people that perhaps are misfits a way to experience a bit of surrogate companionship while feeling special at exactly the same time. But the alien stuff was interesting to me because, like, th there was, like, Air Force videos of aliens, right? No, so I shouldn't say aliens, of, of UFOs, where, like, multiple uh, pilots were like, uh, hey, we saw something in the sky that moved like we couldn't... Uh, we, we, we don't have any possible understanding of how it could have moved as fast and that the elevations that it did or whatever. I don't know anything about physics. This is a Chuck E. Cheese. I've seen this. This is in Novato, California. Crown Plaza. This has got to be UAE, right? <laughs> it's South Cincinnati. Okay, I know where the Dead Sea is. I know where the Dead Sea is. I don't need to look, because I know where it is. This is the Dead Sea. That's the Dead Sea! Let's go! He was right! He is aware of where the Dead Sea is. Dead Sea, Red Sea, Caspian Sea. I honestly, until recently, I thought the Caspian Sea was in Narnia. And I wish that that was a joke. I only recently found out it's like a real thing. Where is the Caspian Sea? Uh, don't tell me if it's spoilers for this guess. What the hell? Do you know that we're in Guatemala? Oh, you know that we are in... I don't know. I, I think we're in South America. Luggage rack? I don't, I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. How'd you know that? How'd you know that? Was there duct tape? Did I miss duct tape on that? Was there, there was a rift in the sky. Didn't look at the rift in the sky. He looked up. They leveled up. Oswald E. Harris Court. We were driving on the left side of the road. Looks very um, tropical. First stop, hot pizza. I st now I still don't know where the damn Caspian Sea is. Caribbean Food Service. I'm going to say that we're in uh, the BVI's. And that's just an educated guess because we are driving on the left side of the road and it says Caribbean. But I don't know, maybe the US VI's drive on the left side of the road as well. I mean, this seems way more British. They got a damn Wendy's here, man. Oh, I took a play that game, you meta lord. You lord of the meta. Welcome down in the mud. This looks like Thailand. But uh, it's definitely Thailand. Don't be a fool. That's not where Thailand is. And by Thailand, I mean Taiwan. I meant Taiwan the whole time. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, it's... Uh, mm, yeah, it, it's... Uh, it's... Um, Yeah, it's Thai Thailand, Taiwan. What's wrong with my brain? Even at the end of that, I was like, this might be rural Japan. Wait, this might be rural Japan. But to be honest, mm, no, I think it might be uh, Europe instead. Now that, I look, now that I look in the other direction. <laughs> this is not at all. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so we are in perhaps a Slavic country. This is like Albanian. 
I'm willing to send it. I'm, I'm willing to send it on a guess of, of the flags. Oh no, it's fake Italy. I was just like literally, okay, this is where this person lives. They live here. Those were not the flags? Well, I, I knew we weren't in France or Italy based on the flags that I saw, obviously. Um, but then how the top of the street sign had what that, or is that Serbia, which would have been wrong anyway for the record, but that, that crest with like the black bird, or is that Albania? Albania is the bird. Okay. Well, I'm not really mad at the guest then, to be honest. I'm not saying it should have been right. I'm just saying, you know, I, I, at least I, I had a principle to make the choice. Lots of Central European countries have an eagle, unfortunately. That's why I have long believed that Europe should be consolidated into about six countries. Peacefully, peacefully consolidated. We have progressed past the need for a Luxembourg. We already have Belgium, which is like, we're not quite France. We're not quite the Netherlands. Then you got a Luxembourg that's like, we're not quite Belgium. And then you got, how, how much further can that go? Oh, now we got a Liechtenstein, which is like, we're not quite Switzerland, which is not quite France, Germany, or Italy. We're Liechtenstein. It's different. As an American, I agree. As long as the Americans agree, that's the only thing I, I ask for. Okay. Run me back. What would the benefits be? Sporkle quizzes would get a lot easier. Canada's just America? You're not really wrong. Doesn't buy. I don't know if you expected that to anger me. We're pretty much, like, culturally speaking, we're, we're very similar. Okay, there's snow on the ground. That means we're in Bulgaria. I've long been a proponent. You know, the main cultural difference at this point between Canada and America is that uh, America's cultural identity is, the, is believing that they're the best in the world, and Canada's cultural identity is believing that it's better than America. Those are the... The, the two things you have to tease apart in a person's personality if you don't see their passport to know where they're from. Apart from that, we watch the same shows. We basically eat the same food. You get it. <laughs> um, it's not the winter time anymore. Canada feels a little more European. Um, parts of it. Like, I, I think if you... Bro, come on. I mean, I'm going Bulgaria. Okay. Okay. Thanks for forcing my hand, Quentin. Like, Quebec City, Montreal feel a little more European. Um, but, like, if you find yourself in, like, Peterborough, Ontario, and, you know, there's a Rio Can Center with a Best Buy and a, a Bed Bath & Beyond, and a Starbucks, where you don't walk to the Starbucks, you park at the Starbucks, like you drive to the Starbucks, park your car, and get out of your car to go inside of the Starbucks, you'll be like, this is, this could be Illinois, this could be Maine, this could be Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> it's just called Rio, Rio Muerto, the River of the Dead. Wait a minute, doesn't that mean we're in uh, Greece? Isn't this where Ach Achilles... Uh, mother dipped him, but I have to tell you, she, uh, she neglected to dip one very important part. We're in the Southern Hemisphere. That's all I know. Place me near Buenos Aires, Argentina. What are you doing? Like, you just don't, if you don't like playing the game, just stop playing the game. You don't have to just, like, tilt. Uh, I had no choice but to waste my leisure time. On my one trip around the sun, uh, well, hopefully more than one trip around the sun, I guess, but, you know, my, my one time on planet Earth, I'm just going to be, like, tilted and bored. Come on, man. It's not, it's not an AFK refund. We won fair and square. At last, a payout.
Dude, I love this first guess here. This person is evenly matched on ELO. Just, I'm giving you the intel here. This one, dude, what is this? Look at your car. This is like the Faroe Islands. No, this is Southern Argentina. I'm going to go ahead and look at the sun. We're in the Northern Hemisphere. I'm going to die. Um, North, it, it's got to be like in the, in the fjords. In the fjords. Kieran, why did we guess on that? What did you guess anyway? Did he, did he guess Southern Argentina like I said? Because that's what I was thinking. What the heck? That was a quick one. We're walking. I hope. This is South America. Jackie. Um, it's not Madagascar. It can't be. This is South America. I mean, this is gorgeous. And a little scary, but gorgeous. Like, this is beautiful. What? That last one threw me, man. I was like, Northern Hemisphere, Argentina? I I don't want to... I'm just going to be honest with you. I think this is La Paz. I'm just too lazy to click down the steps. It's taken way too much. We did way too much. La Paz is way bigger than that. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, man. I'd be so embarrassed if I were you right now. It wasn't La Paz, but it's only 100 kilometers away. It's pretty much the same. You can see it. This is uh, Taiwan? No, this is Italy. We don't need to rush on this one. Because it might... I was going to say, it might not be Italy. It might be, like, uh, near Sicily. Because isn't... I was just going to say, Palermo is, like... I Thank you, uh, Paradox Game Studios. Thank you. This is a great guess on their part. I got to give them some credit there, obviously. This is Japan. This is not Japan. This is Thailand. Split the D. Gotta remember, the Thailand flag looks like a, a blueberry sandwich with ketchup bread. That doesn't mean it tastes good. I'm not saying it tastes good. Look, we're crushing it. This is France. Oh, it's, it's actually, I'm going to guess this is Poland. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with your gut. Say France. But why would they guess so fast? They're, you're losing. I don't understand. You know what I was thinking, by the way? One of the most underrated vegetables out there right now. This is Laos or Sri Lanka. One of the most... My eat me... This is... Hold on, I need to think. This is Sri Lanka. I forgot where Sri Lanka is. <laughs> Ooh, Southeast Asia! It was literally Bangkok. Okay, this is Greenland. The most underrated vegetable of all time right now is radish. People are sleeping on it. This, it, it could legitimately just be Iceland. Could be the Faroe Islands. Hold on, what does this look like to me? No, this is not Iceland. That's, that's Greenland, man. 100% Greenland. You see how many Qs there were in the name of the supermarket? South Cincinnati, you stream sniper. You stream snipe. Don't do that, man drives me crazy people play the whole game and then at the end of it they give me a little inside joke that completely invalidates the validity and the un erodes the trust in the casino this is a tough one for me because 
I I mean we were evenly matched. But how how could I not refund? When they threw. I mean, I feel like if you if you were watching the uh, Flames Oilers game last night and Mike Smith just walked out of the net and left it wide open. First off, you probably wouldn't notice much of a difference if you check the score. But you would, if you were watching at home and you had some money riding on the game, you would be like, "Well, I bet with the idea that everybody was going to try their best." And then at the end of the game, to just be like, "No, you take the win." Come on, man. It, I, I feel like it. It erodes the trust in the institutions we rely on. I have to. I have to refund. I'm sorry. I know it hurts. I, I wish there was a win-win here. The responsible decision is a refund. I'm sure there's some believers out there that are like, I wish I had the points, but that's he's right. His principles are, are on point on this one. Now, maybe not the majority, but there's some. Okay, we're, we're pretty evenly matched here. Did I run the casino? I did not. Okay, there you go. We are in France. No, we are in Serbia. No, this is Slovenia. Hold on. It's gorgeous. It's Norway. No, it's not Norway. What an interesting house. Two stories or no staircase. What an interesting house. No windows, just yellow bags. Okay, now. Hmm, okay. It feels, um... Croatian? I say Croatia a lot. In my defense, it is Croatia a lot. But I do, these don't feel like um, Croatian roofs. So I might be more inclined to say like Slovakia. Let's take a look here. This Ljubljana, this is not Ljubljana, but it LJ, that makes me think that we're in like Slovenia because that's... Um, the first two letters in the capital city of Slovenia. SLO on the license plate. I feel comfortable. Place me here. Good reasoning. I didn't. Does do all EU license plates do this? By the way, they have the the actual country. If you can get close enough, most dude. That's that's insane intel. Holy cow. New ones do. It's so sunny. Like, the future is so bright, I gotta wear shades. This is another, um... It's another country in the same region. Now, I cannot confirm that it's Balkan right now. You know what? Actually, I might be wrong. This might be Portugal. The uniformity of the architecture. The sun quantity. The fact that it looks a little bit like Assassin's Creed, but but I don't see the Colosseum anywhere. This has this is leading me in a Portuguese sort of direction. Any text users in the chat, perhaps? Let's see. Move me a little further ahead. Garbage can. Now we're talking. Okay, never mind. Now we're now we're walking. Um, EU license plate actually helpful because some of the Balkan nations are not in the EU. So I'm leaning more towards Portugal. I, I didn't know that was a sign. It blended in. Well, I'm not going that way. Um, there's a public pool and the Estadio Sao Miguel. That seems Portuguese to me. So let's go... Um, Put me right here. Why not? Coheed in Coimbria. Am I correct in the assumption that the way Spanish uses San is the same way that Portuguese uses Sao? They did not guess. 
That is correct. So if you see a sow, you know you're either in Wales, Portugal, or Brazil. Okay, I understand now. Isn't a sow... No, that's that joke does not work because a sow is a female cow, not a female sheep. That would have been a great joke, though, if I had actually knew anything about animals. Um, Asai? It's a female pig? You wouldn't know that I live next to a farm. Hot dog, the Claudia? No comment? Hmm, okay. I should have been paying more attention. Place me uh, in Peru. Just to the, the east of Lima. What the heck are you doing, man? Asai is not just a berry, it's a city in Brazil. I did not know that, honestly. I did not know that. There's farms in Vancouver? Excuse me, I wasn't lucky enough to live in Vancouver my whole life. You think I was here when Expo 86 took place? I wasn't even alive. You think I was here when the city had culture? It wasn't just uh, tall steel and glass condo towers everywhere? And boba tea? Come on. What do we got? A building? A building on the water. We're in the southern hemisphere. The water is to our north. That's not possible. That's not, it can't be done. We must be on an island. Otherwise, this is, it's geographically impossible. The lunchbox, 787. Isn't that the fake area code from the movies? Well, you know what we saw? We saw English, the lunchbox. Crespo. All I know about Crespo is that it was a level in Rainbow Six Three on the original Xbox. And I believe that the level took place in New York City or like Montreal. So I don't think that's as helpful. These people are in love with Crespo though, dude. Holy cow. Now, I swear to you that somewhere deep in my brain, I have knowledge that Crespo is a Venezuelan name, but Venezuela is not covered in GeoGuessr. So I think that this information is not worth a lot to us. Now, I see sea turtles. Aquatica dive, dive surf sup. Isn't that special? Bienvenidos. Nuevo Jardín del Atlantico. Is, Aguadilla is just a city. In Argentina, maybe? Aguadilla? Aguadilla? Ag I'm about to die. This is not good. Place me here and I'll atone for my crimes. It's in Puerto Rico. Okay. Puerto Rico. Is hot chicken as big of a, a fad in BC as it is in the States right now? Um, I know it's a thing. I don't think it's really permeated BC to the same level. Or honestly, Funyuns? Um, I, it's, I, it's also, I think maybe it got kind of crushed by, uh, by the COVID crunch. Cause I definitely remember going to like uh pubs and and every pub would have like a hot chicken like a nashville hot chicken sandwich and i've not heard of it since i'm not saying it doesn't pop i've only had it like once or twice in my life but i think maybe it got it got snipped before it had a chance to reach like peak popularity here but maybe it comes back or maybe it never leaves we are in korea um we should take our time in Korea. You can always default to Seoul. But there's also a chance that I could read something that could give me a little bit of a leg up. Though it's very unlikely. I mean, like this says... Hanedol. I don't know what it means. But imagine if it said, like, Busan Hotel. Then I would be like, holy cow, we're in Busan. 
You know what? That could... Well, I'm never gonna... Well, you know what? Maybe just like, inch your way a little closer. No, I'm not gonna read that. Um, Yu Sung Hane Do Sky Stay. Okay, so it's a big hotel. Are we... Is this Hyundai? Is this... Am I stupid? No. Hane... Okay, well, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna say that we're near Seoul. Between Seoul and Incheon, let's say. Okay, these are airport hotels. Fair enough. This is... Wait, you gotta look at the card. We see duct tape. Duct tape means you are in Ghana. Maybe they don't know the meta. You send it. Don't call Incheon Korean Jersey. Whether you mean British Jersey or New Jersey. Incheon probably has like... On that island alone, I bet they have like 10x the population of Jersey. Please make an option on the casino for if there is a, an AFK player. You are just, I have to tell you this, this is out of the goodness of my heart, but it's going to sting. You're just addicted to gambling. What information could you possibly have that would make you feel like you could bet, like, logically on someone have being AFK? You're just, you, you are, you're levering up and it's troubling. That's scary. The fact that you, that you want that is frightening to me. Okay, I feel like this is like, this is fake Sweden. And that's throwing me right here. Steak sponsor when? Hansa. This is like Latvia. This is Latvia. Thank you, uh, Europa Universalis. Okay, they, more or less. Chib jokingly asked me if I was going to take a steak sponsorship. And I said... Uh, like something like, yeah, dude, I feel like that's really in my wheelhouse. Dan thought it was serious and then DM'd me privately and said, wait, did you really get a steak uh, sponsorship? I was laughing when I saw the message so good. I was like, what, what, what out of everything that I've said about gambling, I've kind of gone off on it. Where people are like, I don't, I agree with you, but you should just chill out in the, with all the anti-gambling stuff is kind of a bad look. And then I'd turn around and be like, yeah, we're just going to run it back on the slots today. I feel, I mean, okay, it's Croatia, you know? It's it's forest Croatia, not mountain Croatia. Put me, like, right here. It was a really good guess. We're going to live. Crazy time. I do miss Chib's... Uh, Chib's crazy time streams. It's good that he stopped. But at least, like, Chib made it entertaining to watch. Which is, you know, I'm, I'm an entertainment maximalist. If something's entertaining enough, I'll throw my ethics out the window a little bit. Probably wouldn't stream it myself. This is Spain. But, uh, well, definitely wouldn't stream it myself. But this is Spain. This is Spain. Uh, would watch it for sure. This is Spain? Hold on, check. Hemispherical. That's the biggest sun I've ever seen. We're in the northern hemisphere. This is Spain. I've never seen this. We must be in Costa del Sol with the sun being so big. No. Oh my god! That, dude, we played a good game. It hurts to lose that. We played a pretty good game. They just played better. You know how they have a, a GeoGuessr that is America only? Like you only get guesses that are in America? I want to play Americans only. You only get opponents who are inside of America. It's VIP Daniel!
This is Etobicoke. This is Australia. This is Etobicoke. This is Thornhill, Ontario. This is um, Oshawa. This is uh, somewhere on the earth. This is Mexico, Spain. This is Europe. It's South America. <laughs> Dude, I'm so lost. It's an island. It's continental. Um, and I'm feeling incontinental. Can you just take me back to these large buildings, please? Is this a big sign that means it's just power lines? What the heck? A flag of some sort? I'm lost. I'm found. I get up. I get down. I get up. I get down. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just, I need to fill the space, okay? Global. Oh, no, dude. I have no idea. Hemispherically speaking... We're in the Northern Hemisphere. I don't believe that we're in Mexico City, but I'm gonna place this in Mexico City. All right. Legit Santiago, Chile. All right. I was wrong even on the hemisphere. Oh. Zeus Steinheimer Street. This feels like, based on the blurring, felt like legit Germany. Still feels like Germany. Cafe Germania? I don't know. Now I'm second guessing. What the hell? I heard a She Hulk. Maybe they're making a He Hulk? Put me here. Wait, what the hell? He's not angry anymore. Dr. Banner, we need you. Okay, I know VIP Daniel is not AFK. He said WTF in chat. See, he says WTF in chat. SBS Transit? Is this Singapore? You plopping us down in Singapore, you little shit? This is Singapore. It's okay, Daniel. Not everybody can hang with the, the speed at which I play this game. I'm something of an expert myself. <clears throat> I mean, I've, I've played at least 10 hours of this game this month. I told you. I told you they're not AFK. I told you. He's probably too busy thinking about last night's uh, tribal council. There's a lot of ramifications. Things were very much... There was some upheaval at the tribal council last night. Okay. You have no information at all. Um, you should look at the sun. The sun tells us we're in the northern hemisphere. This... I choose to not to believe that. I choose not to believe that. I think we're in Southeast Asia. I think we're in... I think I'm looking at the car to see if we're in Guatemala. We're not in Guatemala. We're in Europe. We're in Romania. We're in Albania. We're in Europe. That's a... This is PUBG. I think I just saw a Mercury Sable. This is PUBG. This is Rosehawk. Rosehawk, of course, took place in Albania. This is not Rosehawk. We're back in Thailand. This is Thailand again. It's a jackal. Please, let me see this. I need to see your fence. It tells me nothing. Oh! I'm, I'm reading as we speak. Um, I don't have a good answer for you. My heart 
says we're adjacent to Romania, but not in Romania right now. Could it... I don't know. What, which one of these countries... Kovazna. Kovazna? Maybe we're not adjacent. Maybe we're in Bosnia? I see some Vs here. Bosnia and Herzegovina? It doesn't look right to me. No, that looks... It's, it's too Cyrillic. Put me, put me in Hungary for now, but that's all I got. I don't really want to send it. I'd, lo I'd love to actually go through the hard work and puzzle out where this one is. Unfortunately, that would, would require people to live here and thus have a need for text on a sign to tell them where they're going. Or where they are, for that matter. But that doesn't appear to be a priority here. It's just like, it's a useless neighborhood where people just like, I don't know, live comfortably or whatever. Um, I do see, I see the C with the underside. And that actually has me thinking a little bit more. Like the C with the underside is is more of a Bosnia Herzegovina thing, right? I'm willing to try it, man. Put me in, in right here. Nope. Okay. Well... This is Portugal? This is not Portugal, come on. It's... I was gonna guess Moldova, but then I thought, mm, that's not, it won't be necessary. Romania. That's a tough Romanian guess, man. We pay it out. Good game, VIP Daniel, good game. Chat. At least Chad can be mad at someone who's not me for once. Well, it's not the easiest Romanian guess ever. Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, you're obviously from Eastern Romania. We've had guesses where we're like in Bucharest, and then we see a sign that's like, you know, City Hall Bucharest. What do you mean it's the easiest guess ever? Hold on. I'm, okay, we're running the casino already. That's been handled. Um... We're in Australia. Europe. Nature place confirmed. We're the, the, no, it's, I, I recognize the sign. Like that, that road sign before we got sent back in time. This is a New Zealand road sign. Yeah, 29.8. Mount Managuji. Okay, Mount Managuji. 29 on the 29A. We can take a look at this one. I'm going to guess it's probably near the mountains. That's just my personal thinking. I guess you got to be more specific. Okay, if you're going to guess. I mean, here's the 26s. Here's the 22s. Here's the 25s. I feel like I'm comfortable, like, down here. Mount Managuji, right there. Oh, get smoked. <laughs> Skill difference. I can't believe that was Tarana. He rent a Asola? What the hell? At least they don't want to buy a Asola. Mine's not for Asola. It might be to Coop, though. Puebla. We're in Colorado. This should help. We're in Mexico. Very good intel. The baby picking his nose. Balanced living. It maybe maybe now that I think about it, Puebla is just a city in Mexico, but doesn't Puebla just mean like town or something? I'm not scared. We're we're gonna be somewhere. Oh, Puebla is a state and also a city. Wow. Skill difference. <laughs> oh, baby. Pueblo's a town in Colorado? Yeah, but where do you think they got that completely original name? You don't think Joe Sackett came up with that by himself, do you? We're in South America. It's the gravel state. Idaho. Wait, New Hampshire. I know it's granite. Whatever. Same shit, probably. A flag. 
That might have been just a Walmart. That's a that flag literally says Nestle. Okay. It's dry as hell. Put me like right here. I don't think it's going to be right, but it might be close to something. Skill difference. This the difference you're seeing in skill is out of control. I've reached peak skill. Now this is scary. This could be an island nation. Tropical Jersey. Could it be BVI? Black license plate on the back? What the heck? They care about recycling here. Okay. Means it probably has more British influence than American. I'm I'm kind of feeling like there's a little Singaporean here. Couldn't tell you. 800 super. Okay, I don't know. Just send it. Tavistock Avenue. If I had to guess, I would I would guess Singapore right now. And parts of Singapore, despite its small uh, geographic size, are zoned for single-family houses. They got NIMBYs there too. The Serangoon Garden Way. Dude, I think we're in Singapore. The... Uh, I'm going to guess that we're in Singapore. Okay. I'm going to say Singapore. My main goal is to blow up and guess Singapore like I ain't know nobody. Skill difference. <laughs> Every time. So we got 6,000 points. We should just send it. That is a huge bridge, man. I'm just enjoying looking around right now. So obviously we're in Laoxic Sissies, um, but I don't know where that is. So let's learn something. Obviously it's Spanish. Palmeira, I don't know where it is, but I recognize it. I feel like it's in Spain. No, it's in Portugal. Okay, good to know. Palmeira. It was a it was important in EU4. Is it possible that it's like on um the Azores? Is it possible that it's on the Canary Islands? Palmera. Maybe it was just a state like... I mean, if Porto is on the A28, we're, we're, we're in one of these. We're, we're in one of these, man. Probably, I'm going to say we're... Just be smart. Take right here. Skill difference, pure luck. <clears throat> thank you, EU4. Thank you. Remedies, health and beauty. Now, this could be South Cincinnati. Born and raised. I didn't mean to go all the way in here. It's a very, like, it's a European looking area. Chabada La Matilla. Okay. I mean, it's old as hell, man. I mean that in a positive way. This is... I'd like to get to the city square, please. I feel like this could be a dry part of Italy. Could I get to the city center? No, it's, not, it's illegal for cars to go there. Okay, they care about their... Uh, they care about their citizens. They care about their ability to locomote. You got to respect that. Now, it, it makes GeoGuessr a little harder, but that's okay. Certainly, it seems like... Santuario Madonna Talherba? What? I'm, I'm going to guess we are on an island somewhere. I'm scared. I, have, I think we are on you. Or Malta? 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 I honestly thought I was clicking Malta first. It was Malta! Okay. <laughs> There's a... I, I never realized this until I played more GeoGuessr. There's a rule... This is Korea. It just strikes me... No, this is the Balkans. Um, there's a rule in GeoGuessr, and the rule is if... Something looks weird, you're on an island. 
Like that was Italy, but not quite. Uh, that's Hungary because you put the lettuce on the bottom and the middle's empty. Um, that was like Italy, but not quite. And then it started to have like that H with the line through it. I didn't understand. And then I saw some Al dashes and I was like, okay, so it's Arabic Italy. I don't know. Twisted Italy. Or maybe, well, you know what's messed up? If you're from Malta, Italy's probably twisted up Malta, man. Okay, so this is like Sweden. Can't say with 100% authority yet. The English pub. This actually looks like um, Brockville, Ontario. Are we in Iceland? We're in Iceland. And that's crazy. Or are we in Denmark? This does not look like Iceland. I'm sending it though. Okay, it was. It did. That was the least Icelandic looking part of Iceland I've ever seen. But I'm glad I trusted that I trusted the opposite of my instincts on that one. And that was that was very smart. Now, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have put us uh, in the middle of the country near all the volcanoes, but whatever. This is Mexico. The flag is mirrored to protect its identity. I hope. This is Italy. I'm not going to be too happy. Holy cow. Dude, we're fighting it out here. This is crazy. This is a heavyweight duel. Iceland has a lot of those soulless apartment buildings. The entire population of the country is like 400,000. How many could it possibly have? I'm not even trying to insult uh, the... the noble country of Iceland, but like, I think you and I might have different definitions of a lot. Okay, you're making a guess? You're making a guess? I'm making a guess. My guess, based on the nothing that I've seen, is that we are in Bangladesh. Holy cow. It's the most incredible duel in GeoGuessr history. That's a 2001 Ford Focus. I'm gonna guess that we're in Eastern Europe. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, a Coca-Cola glass, a Pepsi building. We're in Germany. Can we see some things that confirm this? The Balmerstrasse, is that where Steve Ballmer lives? Developers, 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 developers. We're in Germany, 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 Germany. Look for things that confirm the guess you already hold. Fall victim to confirmation bias. Lose when it's Austria. This looks like a German building. In my opinion, this looks like a German building. You know what I'll say about Germany? They love the signs, and I think you gotta respect that. We seem to have found ourselves in some sort of business park, unfortunately, but... This is... This is Germany, dude. I was at the first can show in Cologne. Here's the thing. So I saw that it said Köln, which is Cologne, that on a truck. But there were like six of those trucks lined up, which makes me think we were at like the depot where they settle their shit at the end of the day. If you see one truck that has a city name, it could be leaving there and going anywhere else. If you see like five or six of them stacked up, that's a pretty, it's a safe assumption, I think. That was like the best geo match in terms of like level of competition we've ever had. Very well done. I'm not the TikTok Geo guy. You got to see his videos, man. If any, if someone tweets it to me after the stream and I see it, I will retweet it to give you a frame of reference.